Yo, what's up guys? So this will be a quick update on Matic. As you can see, we are currently squeezing about um, 27% in seven or si yeah, in six or seven hours. And if you take a look at the four hour time frame, guys, you can see that we took out this resistance right here really fast. And also this huge resistance right here around $1.50, guys. If you take a look, we had a, um, a huge rejection in the past price section at this area around $1.50. And what I would be looking out for right now in the immediate short term, guys, uh, if you take a look right now, this four hour candle right here. You can see that we have currently a lot of rejection in this four hour candle. I think a lot of people are currently start selling their positions. Maybe um, people who are who've been buying Matic somewhere around one dollar and ten cents to about one dollar and twenty cents, guys. A lot of people are currently selling their positions right now. I think so. And what I would be looking out for right now, guys, I want to see if we can hold this previous huge resistance zone around one dollar and fifty cents, guys. As a new support because if you take a look at four hour time frame, you can see that we had like I already said a huge resistance zone in this area around one dollar and fifty cents and we've been rejected at this area definitely a couple of times and yeah i want to see right now if we can hold up above this previous resistance and we can flip it into new support guys in the next couple of hours because I think if we cannot hold it and this 4 hour candle was only a fake out and we start closing the next 1 or 2 4 hour candles again below the support area somewhere around $1.46 guys. Then I'm definitely expecting a sell off to retest this support area right here again somewhere around $1.35 to about $1.37 guys. Because if you take a look you can see that this is the last sideways consolidation we had in this area right here and we've been rejected that and that's why i think if we start closing some weak candles below the support area and we cannot hold it uh, i'm definitely expecting a sell-off to retest this area around one dollar and 35 cents again guys otherwise if we can hold up above the support area and we can close some strong four hour candles in the next couple of um hours above this support area somewhere around one dollar and fifty two one dollar and fifty three cents guys i'm definitely very bullish on matic and i think we should be able to trade in the next couple of days in this range between one dollar and fifty one cents to about one dollar and seventy one cents guys why one dollar and seventy one cents simple guys you can see that this was a huge resistance zone right here in august We've been rejected at this resistance two times right here if you take a look guys and um then we did this huge fake out to about one dollar and eighty cents however we did not manage to break this resistance also and since then we've been not able to uh, break through that resistance around one dollar and seventy two cents again guys so yeah i would definitely take a look at this uh layer of resistance um if we can hold the support area right now and i think if we can hold it i'm expecting like i already said a sideways consolidation between one dollar and 52 cents to about one dollar and 70 cents guys and this layer of resistance would be the next layer i would be looking out for around one dollar and 70 cents guys because over this resistance we had a lot of rejection like i already said and i think a couple of backholders are also sitting still between one dollar 70 cents to about one dollar and 82 cents guys so yeah guys uh watch out if we can hold the support area I, I think if we cannot hold it then i'm definitely expecting a sell-off to retest the support area around one dollar and 37 cents again otherwise if we can hold up in the next couple of hours i think we should be able to retest in the next days this resistance around one dollar and 70 cents again guys overall you can see that we are definitely very bullish on matic and we are still trading in this huge uptrend right here since we found some support around one dollar and five cents and yeah, I'm definitely very bullish, guys. Watch for a pullback. Don't chase these breakouts right now. And be patient, guys. And if you want to make a long trade, like I already said, be patient and check, check out my uh, Patreon community, guys. I will share all of my trading setups in this community. And yeah, guys, that was the quick update for Matic. If you're enjoying these type of videos, please drop a like. Subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, just comment down below, guys. And I hope I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.